Quite long clothing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ten years later. <clears throat> yeah, this map is, is back. Don't even yeah. breathe because the game. The game. Oh, okay. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I. This is like, I guess. Oh, hello there. Who are you? It, what? He's gone! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, and this is the patient floor. Sounds like fun. Yes, that sounds like fun. I wasn't here. Uh, did you found the secret with the lady behind the door in previous map? Yes, yes, I did. And All by myself. Scary? Yes, that was really scary. All by myself. Ah. I'm glad. Unsigned note 1 out of 5. Previously, I did not enjoy attending cases of elderly and demented patients who were left here by their relatives. Such should be cared for by loved ones, not sent to an in institution for the mentally ill. Fortunately, the situation has improved in the last two years. The mental patients are placed only on the upper floors. Which are reserved for the wealthier families. Down here, Chief Dr. Penner ordered that we take only mostly young and poor patients. There must be a reason for putting younger patients down there. What? Oh, and did you recognize the character from the previous secret note? Von Kramberg? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that one. This one, yeah. Madhouse one. Main character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I did recognize that, yeah. I wasn't sure Madhouse one or two, <laughs> but I didn't know. I was previously one of... Uh, I remember it was like this plot twist at the end of Madhouse one that we were... That I was the, f the dude that did that, yeah. That was the insane dude. Oh, wow. You were a bit weird, weren't you? Unsigned note 2. Stupid gang. I was at the shelter and coming by with medicine. Half of them will not e come because they are snoring even during the day. I would like to have such life too. Don't do shit and still have somebody take care of me. It's like a hotel here. A lot of them are not sick. They just play at it. I know this all too well. That's why I said it is s. Okay, it is sus. I cannot say that they are interested in caring for patients. Locked, okay. The fuck? That was the. <laughs> I tried to invent it in another, like, scare event. Yeah. Lower floor iron key. Ah, let's go. Of course, Mr. Brute. Starch, okay. Uh, 
anything here. It doesn't seem like it's... Ah, barrel. Okay, he should be gone by now. Hmm. Are you right, mister? Oil. <laughs> I can't even throw him. Okay, maybe I've You can oh. throw it. The physics of this object is not great. I'll just read this note. I cannot take it anymore. I'm shaking off. I need a drink. At least uh, to down some good push. Help. I see in black and white. I see tiny beetles and mice. Whole flocks of mice. Especially at night. Just one. One gil a gulp of liquor. Please. Perfect. Maybe putting him in a mental institution saved his life. Otherwise, he would have drunk himself to death. But what... Will his life be like in the future? Uh, I don't know. No. I heard that, mister. Not locked, but the lock is rusted and jammed. Also, I'm expecting people be like, there is no hint for the oil and the leaf. Jesus Christ. I mean, honestly, it is kind of obvious, because what else can you do? Excuse me. Let's make this a happy place. Full of lights. Oh, full of shit. <laughs> yes. I bet it is so shiny. Let's pick up some shit, shall we? Mm. I think uh, this is a little bit disgusting, yes. Yes, a little <laughs> bit. This is like ModDB page. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> this is ModDB. Rot knife. Okay, we're gonna shank you. Why is this class? Oh, um, by the way, there is a secret in this bedroom. Yeah. I forget to mention. Mm. Secrets. Yes, there. Can I push it down? No, of course not. No, you can't make the crates. Where's your one? Here. <laughs> I think two crates are enough. Okay. <laughs> I hope so. I, I just okay. I just have to like kind of like. Oh. Pick them up like that. Twelve. Secret note twelve. A note from a mad killer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Alice Kellner is eternal. He will save us. One day, we all will be in the sky. We will sit on the clouds, like angels and those of the dead. We do not end up in hell. And I'll end up in heaven too. I don't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because I was a traitor here. Uh. Yeah, yeah, that idiot Sebastian von Lipnitz had to die because of the auto could not afford to let him say anything to the police. Dr. Pennett himself told me that, and he, when the doctor says that, it must be true. Yeah, 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 how grateful I am to the doctor. Could you have helped me so much? I was a poor as a church rat, and my only income was from small-time crimes. Sometimes I was caught by cops and imprisoned, but the doctor, he took care of me as he should. Uh, since coming here, I had never been hungry, and, I also showed, and he also showed me the one true God. Yes, yes, yes! When I, was uh, when I crucified that idiot Sebastian von Lipnitz, I was locked up here for protection. I wish to go underground tomorrow. Is there a factory or something? I wish they needed me there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the doctor says that, it will be true. Freddy. God. And it's done. 
saw this infamous figure of the Munich underworld murdered Sebastian. Who could have guessed it? An ordinary thief from the streets of Munich did it. And behind it all is Dr. Penner. Unbelievable! As a psychiatrist, he abuses his expertise to manipulate the minds of ordinary people. What the hell is this sound? Oh, you. Can I light you? This, uh, this criminal Freddy is what? a little bit retarded. Yeah. <laughs> what is it, Sabatu? I never knew you could light this <laughs> shit. Hey, okay. it's new for me. Interesting. Okay. Kitchen. Oh. <laughs> what is funny? You will see. Oh no. <laughs> Oink. Oh no. <laughs> now I don't want to continue. Hiding something in the big corpse. Yeah. I don't. No. Huh. What? Which one? Nothing aside. Hiding in some th hiding something in the big co big corpse. I don't think so. No. There is nothing inside. All right then. The big corpse, of course. <laughs> oh. I could not resist. <laughs> At least two ones. <laughs> Oh boy. You need an oil? Yes. I mean, oil? Oh? Where the hell do we get oil? In the kitchen? Oh. Somewhere in the kitchen? Is it extra virgin olive oil? It's very mm, easy to exactly. find. Exactly. Huh? Oh, that's all. What? Oh. String. Glass container. Black oil, that is not extra virgin olive oil. But I don't think they will uh, buy that for people like this. <sighs> Receipt of message helmet from Lipnitz. A patient suffering from severe weakness of mind was admitted in a highly agitated state, which was, which is why the police handcuffs were not removed in a few hours after admission. Before hospitalization. According to the testimony of the police lieutenant Dieter Emmerich for Ravensburg, a report was made at the local police station by a private detective, Mr. Klaus Peterson from Munich. Investigated the murder of Baron from uh, Wilhelm from Lipnitz's son at the Dunkel Science Castle. Evidence came to him that the Baron's weak mind and song Helmut was murdered uh, has murdered uh, assistant cook. The evidence was presented by Detective Peterson at the Ravensburg police station, based on which Lieutenant Emmerich decided to act. He went with several men to Dunackelstein. Baron mm. <laughs> von Liebnitz stubbornly stood for, uh, up for his ton and even presented the lieutenant with a medical report of Helmut's mental insanity, which had been drawn up uh, some time ago by Superior Prime Minister Penner. Uh, the Baron's heart must have failed during the negotiation because he fell to the ground as if cut down and died on the spot. Due to the medical report and of the infamous Helmut from Litnitz, he was not transferred to Ravenburg prison, but directly to us, the, to Blutenburg. The patient brought back furiously, so he was um, handcuffed. 
But Prime Minister. It's not a Prime Minister, what is this? <laughs> no. Prime I shall call Spellos. <laughs> Prime Minister. <laughs> <laughs> Who was he supposed to be? Like I had some somewhere else. It is case, exactly. the police act surprisingly mm -hmm. quickly. While I searched the Lipnitz Manor, Helmut was transported here to Brutenberg. Okay. Why not? Oh, I accidentally. Okay, so abduction. The patient is strongly agitated with a tendency to hate terrible aggressiveness and probably also the auto aggressiveness. His Blyton has many traces of auto... Uh, what? Uh, this is bad. Auto-mutilation. Mutu mutilations, I think. Ah, yeah. Mutilations all over his body. The caregiver immobilized the patient and for I forcibly opened his mouth. Then I put a strong de uh, decoction... A concoction or decoction. Sure it's supposed to be decoction? I think it's concoction. Though. Of Baldian Valerian into his throat through the funnel. Subsequently, he was placed under the underground floor of our institute due to the significant inconsistencies in his behavior and the production of a solid auditory effects, <coughs> which uh, could disrupt the treatment, rehabilitation, and resocialization of already treated or less agitated patients. Therapy unknown. Unfortunately, current medical science does not know a cure for idiocy. Due to the patient's danger, I indicate this permanent isolation from other patients and intensive care for the personal needs of the said, as the patient is not individual capable. Dr. Uwe Kittel. Uwe. It happens if you have medical reports and you need to translate it to English. Yeah. I mean, I understand, yeah. The Prime Minister of England, Prime Minister Pedder. Prime Minister. <laughs> He's like the owner or head doctor in this institution ah, yeah. and many others. And I'm not sure how to say it in English. But definitely not Prime Minister. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, ah, yeah. Okay. Whatever you were saying. Oh my lord! What the. I the. The cells for the worst cases. Yeah, yeah. This isn't good. This is bad. Oh lord. Alright. <laughs> I see. Boiler room. Wait. No, I can't open doors. The hell? Do I have to put something in here as well? Mm. Yeah. Cockwheels. Exactly. Ugh. Yeah. I did not want to say the word. No, but I would. I understood that. But yes. I just don't. Yeah, but knowing my say, I will say something like cock wheels or something like that. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's up here. No. <laughs> you had four levers down there. I know. <coughs> Bless you. There's nothing in these cells, huh? Oh wait, of course those that pff, they open up the cells. The oh, oh, they have to go down. Let's have a party, shall we? Ah, quite the part. Yeah. 
yeah, move along, Mr. Grunt. Uh, Brute, I mean. Nah, of course. Ah, oh, go back and forth, will ya? I'm not sure if he can see you through the metal bars. I'm not I think sure. the engine. He does. does not let he does. Him. Oh, okay. Obviously. Man, now what? I tested your theory, now I'm screwed. Go away. Good boy. No, he can see you by. He can see you. I think he saw the lantern or. The sum of you or something. Not really. And this was not a good idea. Why not? <laughs> Why not? You can try to wait and he should leave soon enough. Oh. Well. Nice and cozy. Okay, he's gone. Okay. Two more to go. Well, where the F they are? Uh, I don't know. Let's check the other cells. Oh, this would have been a nice hiding spot, by the way. Oh, well, well, well. Oh, well, well, well. Who do we have here? I would say this part is absolutely boring for him. I'm not sure. For you, it is boring for you too. I'm almost sleeping here. He obviously hates to look for items. Ah, well, it's not amnesia if it doesn't have any of those uh, puzzles in it. Nah, it's not true, but... Ah, well. I can't wait to see you playing Castle Walker's back. <laughs> yeah. I think... Hmm. In my opinion, it is better. Definitely, it's more horror. Classic amnesia. Scary events. Yeah. How's it hang, boy? <laughs> but this is quite horror as well, honestly. It's more... Hmm. I mean... The second part of the motive is... Yeah. Oh yeah, plus. What do I have to do here? Calls. Any calls. Oh no. I know. I've got this one here. Big river. Up. You know, it is good to have a build up, right? This custom story had build up. It's good to have that. Original Amnesia didn't have constant horror as well. It also had moments of rest yeah. and moments of puzzles. Safe areas, yeah. yeah. The back hall, for example. And then you enter the storage. I noticed something for someone. Unsigned Note 5. They don't believe me. I keep telling them over and over, but they don't believe me. Vampires live at Wackersburg. Count Gottfried is a vampire. They wanted to suck my blood and they also wanted to make me a vampire. They said God doesn't exist, only Satan and Asmodeus. I do not want to believe in hell creatures, I want to believe in the Son of God. So believe for me, for God's sake. A vampire is at Wackersburg. Wild stories about Wackersburg, but this poor man has obviously gone mad. God knows what he really experienced there. This music is sometimes used in films. Like Freemosa. Yeah. And it's from Mozart, I think. Huh? And it was used many times. Yeah, yeah. A note from the cell. He thinks that he can shut us up with money and threats. That he can manipulate us as he pleases. He thinks that if he uses the disgusting Berkstein, uh, Berkstein, 
As figurehead in his illegal raids, he can keep doing them indefinitely. I was a simple Munich merchant based in Rindermarkt next to the house of a notary named Josef Riegel. That Riegel, it was Riegel who introduced me to him and the Grandmaster. First, they confused me with words of love, but with a multi mutual aid and trust. They wanted me to order uh, to join their order. The order of Alexius Kellner. Yes, I'm not ashamed to say it right here in this cell where I'm going to rot. They worship the serial killer Alexius Kellner because he was a living man. Well, we can doubt the existence of God. Of Christ. I believed the stories he, they told me. Then they asked me to give the order a small gift. Then another. Then finally when they wanted to devour all my property. When I refused, I was captured and thrown in the cell. He, along with Grandmaster Birkenstein and several fanatic fanatics have by torture finally forced me to sign the transfer of my property to the order. A rack traitor Regal uh, who wants them along so came also came here. He wanted to have a notarized deed signed by me on the spot so that those leeches could run straight to the bank and withdraw my cash. Now that I'm lying here on rotten hay thinking about my life I ended up I ended up really bad. I, I'm even worse off than the killer, Kramberg, who lives in a luxurious room on one of the upper floors. I hope everyone burns in hell. Bergstein, Riegel, and he himself. The Dr. Wolfgang Penner is behind it all. He is the one pulling the other strings. Adolf goes. Wait a minute. So he is a Regal like this, then it's a Regal like that. Then it's Regal like that again, and then it's Rigel. There. I think it's all the same name, right? Yeah. Okay. It should be we Regel. Okay. Long God, version. I can't believe it. Is Dr. Penner behind everything? I remember this. The famous and respected Dr. Wolfgang Penner. This can't be possible. Apparently... He initiated the founding of the Order of Alexius Kerner, used to impoverish Birkenstein in exchange for a few coins, to be his white horse, and became rich thanks to the members of the Order, day after Thoreau in that location, for good or in, transferred their property to the Order. And after he squeezed every penny from them, he locked them here in a medicine institution, or destroyed them right away. That's why poor Lipnitz is had to die. How disgusting! I have to stop this. I have to find Dr. Penner. He will have to answer a lot of questions for me. I remember this in the screenshots. Is the secret on? Yeah. Uh, you found already the secret in the bedroom. But you need to go up there. Okay. There is different way. By the way, everyone talking are talking about Alexius Kellner. But in the end, he was innocent. It was his mother in Madhouse 2. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I mean, I vaguely but remember Basically, it. no one knows that. Yeah. I, I mean, I really vaguely remember it, so... Um... How do I get up there? There is a way up. And Dr. Penner is the main villain behind it all. After all. Nice plot twist, I think. And I think it was my idea to use Penner as the main villain, but I'm not sure. You mean the Prime Minister? <laughs> Prime Minister? I'm, I'm not sure too. I, I don't uh, remember. I think it was my idea. We were talking about the idea of Madhouse... Well, in the first place, this was not supposed to be Madhouse 3, because I was tired of any Madhouse or Asyl. But in the, in the end, this was my, my idea to do uh, Madhouse 3 and close the whole story. So I was to close, uh, good to close the story. Oh no, there's something behind me, isn't there? Oof! He will never, I think it's just. He would never survive this fall. Yeah, I think it's just head doctor. I think it's just head doctor. <coughs> uh, uh, who, who are you? 
Yeah. My name is Uwe Kittu, and I'm one of the journal doctors. I fell and... Yes, you fell into the elevator shaft, but you'll be fine. I checked all your bones and you probably didn't break anything. You only have some abrasions and bruises. I've already treated you. Oh, uh, well... So... Thanks. Detective, he already knows about you. He also knows that you had Birkenstein arrested. Something strange is happening to him lately. He must have gone completely insane. He kills anyone who comes into his hands. Please, detective, go stop him. Who are you talking about? About Penner. Who else would I talk about? Yes, that's why I came here. Patterson. I want to end all this madness about the order. The notes I found in the men's institution proof. Penner's guilt. I will go and stop him. Then all I have to do is wish you good luck, detective. Thank you, doctor. I will need it. And in the end, the doctor Penner doesn't need to be the main villain. Uh huh. Everyone is the main villain. After all, this is Madhouse. Yeah, everyone is the main villain. <laughs> you never know what could happen in Madhouse. Yeah. I mean, on what you were saying uh, before... Does this have autosaves, by the way? Oh, what do you mean? Like, uh, you go to next area, it automatically saves. Uh, usually it do. Well, not usually. Every uh, map change is... And both have my auto saves. Okay, good. And this is the just the same map. It's not the new one. Okay. And what you were saying about uh, somebody surviving a fall? I mean, miracles do happen. Reality is often stranger than fiction. Not to me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I. I will die by looking down. Uh, in Madhouse, you you can expect uh, everything. That's true. By the way, it ch in Czech version, before we fix it, he did not say it like, I checked all your bones, uh, but he said, I touched all your bones. Oh, he touched all and my bones. no one think about that, how strange it sounds. <laughs> oh, he touched all my bones. You're okay, I touch all your bones. And he also touched my bone. It's a... Uh... Uh, how to say old uh, archaic uh, phrase? Phrase. Yeah. 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 I wait, wait. I heard. Uh, oh, I got a um, message on this part. Well, I'll do it later. <coughs> you will say that in hundred years ago, but not today. I touch all your bow. Oh, thank you very much. I feel violated. <laughs> Hmm, cool. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. What's up? The famous detective is here. Yeah. What do you want from me, dear friend? You monster. It's all your fault. You murders. Everything. If we fight for a higher goal, small sacrifices are a necessity. Are you ill? I have so much evidence in my hand that I will destroy you with it. You understand? What? Will you destroy me? Let me laugh. <laughs> you know, it's really you who's sick. Don't you remember that you were with me for an examination a year ago? You have premature dementia, my friend. What? What are you saying? I... Well... Yes, I remember. I was with you, but you said... The illness is not so rare that, despite my hallucinations, I did not lose touch with reality. Shut up, you trickster! Ah, no, 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 no. You're far worse off than you think. Believe me. Shut up, 
You trickster. Oh. Das ist mal gut. Yeah, it's not good. It's, it must be painful for you to hear our English and then Dr. Penner, who was voiced by Aqua Sheep. And he's American. Yes. And you can clearly hear that. Well, yeah, but it doesn't really matter for me. And in, in Czech version, uh, did, 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 did it to me. So. Yeah, Svankes did the voice lines for Dr. Panna in Czech ah, version. Ah, okay. <laughs> and I forbid him to do it in English. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh. Oh. You ever thought of uh, bringing Wizard Plane as uh, what the hell happened? As voice actor? He's also American. Yeah, I know, oh. but uh, never think about asking him. Do you see that? Yeah. What the hell? Oh, it's the doors. They are broken, like they vanish if you destroy them. But uh, the like the model is still here without the texture. Oh, okay. And there is no way to fix it. So Dr. Penn is behind it all. Who would have thought of such a thing? A person who's supposed to help the weak and sick abuses have position for his profit. Maybe he's completely insane and unaware of it. Either way, I must stop it. <laughs> 